I, I let the floor immediately to him. Mr. Bruno Bunnell, General Secretary for Investment, France 2030 program. Mr. Bunnell. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to be here. I have the tough task to wake you up for this hybrid day. Uh, not so easy um, after this uh, wonderful weather in Paris, right? So here. More seriously, we live, uh, we live a true revolution in the uh, healthcare industry. And um, when you go through this uh, time where everything is changing, uh, as a government, you have like three conditions to succeed. The first one is a will, determination in really digging a field and effectively deliver and help to deliver solutions this wheel is strong in France. Second is a way. A way is uh, a strategy, and uh, I will, in a few minutes, detail a bit of it. But this strategy is necessary to gather all the working forces to make it happen. And third, our souls, or people, understanding and executing this strategy to uh, effectively win and succeed in finding those solutions. And it's based on this that uh, Emmanuel Macron, Mr. President de la République, has decided um, two years ago to set up uh, the Secretariat General pour l'Investissement, General Secretary for Investment, with 54 billion euros in different innovation fields, one of them being health. Health was uh, given 7.5 billion euros to really investigate what could be innovation in health in the future. It's called l'Agence d'Innovation Santé, led by Liz Alter, who will be here, I think, tomorrow, facing you and, and giving you more details about this agency is organized. So this, this is showing the will. The way is based on these new strategies and of course, uh, all the discussion you'll be having during these two days are at the heart of it, that effectively um, we as France want to be part of this uh, bioengineering, biotherapy revolution. And it started already, but it's been given in a, form, in a very clear form by the president. 20, 20 biomedicine should be effective by 2030 in France. That's, the, that's the, the way that he drawn, he's drawn. So clearly, instead of just saying, okay, we'll give money to research, or we'll support uh, almost randomly some startups, or we'll give big speeches about it, he preferred to say, this is the goal, and be selective, and SGPI, which I'm running, is extremely selective in the projects we're supporting. It's about one of three presented that we are selecting for support, different kind of supports, and in the, with the purpose of delivering this 20 uh, biomedicine. Aside from this, we finance for 2 billion euros what we call compétences et métiers d'avenir, so future work skills, which is, a, which is another strategy where we support any kind of education in this field. It can be um, new education for students, fresh students. It can be uh, to, to reform, to, re, to give new educations to existing uh, medical um, experts or chemical experts. So basically, what we try to do at the same time is to find means to support this strategy and to find the people to do it effectively. Because it would be a big mistake to build you know, walls and, lab and laboratories and to build you know, production facilities. If we're missing the women and the men inside, it won't work. So I don't want to uh, pile up numbers everywhere. But I can tell you that already in the course of two years, we have engaged at the uh, France 2030. That's the name of the big plan, France 2030. 
this 54 billion plan. We've already have uh, engaged 30 billion euros. So we're on track in terms of really pushing hard to make things happen. On which probably, on the same percentage, probably uh, we are uh, right now in the uh, health sector, which represent uh, close to uh, 500, billion, uh, 500 million euros uh, supported already by, by uh, SGPI. We have about six biomedicine which are on the way to the different phases, the phase three and ready to go. And um, I'd like to stress one. I'd like to stress one as an example because uh, at a personal level, I, I was one of these uh, um, parents who faced uh, the very tough time to have a, a child who was sick from a genetic disease. And uh, at that time, it was 10 years ago, a little more, 15 years ago, there were no solutions, absolutely no solutions. The, the knowledge at that time was absolutely impossible in terms of complexity to understand this, uh, this disease. So it was definitely hopeless. And Genitaire, which we've been supporting with what we call a biocluster, so it means that we're trying to gather research, academic research, startups, um, pharmaceutical companies. Genitor recently, I visited Genitor recently after supporting this for a long time. The government did support Genitor for a long time. And um, it was very emotional for me, but they told me, wow, we found a solution. And it's really important because I want to explain to you that we don't just are governmental people or uh, we don't just think out of the, out of the context of a political uh, competition. Because, you know, on my notes here, the big debate is, is France ahead of Germany or is uh, England ahead of Italy? Uh, and it doesn't matter, in fact. It's more like the Olympics. And, and as you know, Paris is welcoming the Olympics. We're all performers. We're all in the same goal to really ease the pain of zillions of people across the world facing new uh, sicknesses, facing uh, new diseases. And we know that through this revolution, through these genetic therapies, we will find ways to cure things that were just impossible to imagine only 10 years ago. And that's really my, that's why I wanted to be here this morning, even for five minutes, to tell you that um, if we forget this in the different plans we're making, if the biotech startups forget that the real purpose is not to make money, but the real purpose is to cure people, if we forget that it can only work by the collaboration of people, by the association of ideas, by tests and trials, and failed, failing and bouncing back. If we forget that that's the mission we're in, I think we forget the essential. That you can count on my support, both professionally and personally, to make sure that this 20 biomedicine in 2030 will be real in France for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bonner, for this uh, very positive introduction.